Hello Church! I just wanted to wish you a happy feast day of St. Nicholas because it is once again that time of year. That's right, it is the holiday season and I wanted to wish you a very happy holidays from your pastor and from College Park Presbyterian Church. Now, that's a, a dangerous thing to wish sometimes. There are a lot of people who've been getting offended when they've been wished happy holidays because they think happy holidays is somehow the result of creeping secularism and people not wanting to say Christmas and honoring other religions and dishonoring Christianity. And I, I'm really confused by that conclusion, and so I wanted to talk about it a little bit, because here's the thing. Before we even get into a discussion of holidays like Kwanzaa and like Hanukkah, things that in my opinion, are actually very Christ-affirming in that uh, Christians can celebrate and enjoy without any kind of compromise to their sincere Christian faith. Even if we just look at the holidays that that are completely Christian, Christmas is holidays. Christmas is holidays. We've got a ton of Christmas holidays that we're celebrating around this type of year, not the least of which is the feast day of St. Nicholas, which falls on December 6th. What am I talking about? Well, for one thing, I'm getting really excited because we've got the last Sunday of Advent coming up. The last Sunday of Advent, which I sometimes call the Christmas for Christians. That's so many of our Christmas Eve services at so many churches get overwhelmed with visitors and with the obligation we feel to be welcoming to visitors and to share the Christ story with those who have never heard, that the last Sunday of Advent becomes the time in many of our churches to talk about the deep theological implications of the nativity of Christ Jesus and of the miracle of the incarnation. And so if you're offended by happy holidays, I have to wonder Do you go to church regularly? Have you been on a last Sunday of Advent lately? Then we're going to celebrate Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve is a very important holiday. Christmas Eve is the holiday when most of us go to church. Uh, That's the part of the Christmas season when when church is an important part of our expression. And so uh, traditionally you would go to a midnight mass and... uh, a service that leads from Christmas Eve into Christmas, a vigil service. But at least in my church, we do it in the evening on Christmas Eve and let you still get home early in time to get a good night's sleep. Either way, if your holy obligation and your worship together in community is taking place on a day, that's a holy day, and I want you to have a happy one. Well, if you've heard of Christmas Eve, you've probably heard of Christmas. That's another holiday. It's, for many of us, a day of rest. It's a day of celebration. It's a day of family. So many churches don't have things going on on Christmas Day exactly. And instead, they encourage us to read the Bible with our families and to share and love and joy and peace and forgiveness and discipleship, raising up little ones in the faith. It's an important holiday, even though it's not as much a church holiday. And again, I want you to have a happy Christmas holiday. Well, what comes after Christmas? After Christmas is the Feast of St. Stephen, uh, commonly known as Boxing Day. Traditionally, a couple centuries ago, Boxing Day was the day that the servants would have off and they would be able to have their Christmas. And so it was an important part of the Christmas season and people's expression of their Christian faith if they worked in house jobs, um, if they worked as gentlemen servants, butlers, maids, cooks. I think we might need a return to Boxing Day because there are a lot of people nowadays who are working on Christmas Day. People who work at movie theaters, people who work at restaurants, people who are pastors who end up having important things to do on one of the most important holidays of the year, Christmas Day, and who could stand to create some time with their family to to have some of that rest and recuperation that's traditionally available on Christmas Day, but not for everyone on the next day, the day that follows. After Boxing Day or the Feast of Stephen, we will be together celebrating a holiday I bet you've heard of, 
but maybe you aren't counting, it's called New Year's Eve. It's kind of a big deal. New Year's Eve, or in some Christian churches, they call it watch night. They'll hold a watch night service where we ring in a new year. Um, and we pay attention to the fact that something new is coming just as Jesus Christ came into the world. Now, you may say, well, that's a secular holiday. That's not a real holiday. But the calendar is not secular. What is it, the Gregorian calendar that we're using now, influenced by St. Gregory? We're following in a tradition of people who put a new year where they put it. After New Year's Eve is, of course, New Year's Day. New Year's Day is not the first day of the church year. That's actually back in December 1st this year. Um, the first Sunday of Advent is the first day of the church year or the Christian New Year. But this is the calendar New Year. And so if you're upset by somebody saying happy holidays, I, I got to ask you, what calendar system are you using? Are you, are you using the Gregorian calendar? Are, are you going to be celebrating New Year's Day? Uh, what's, what's the problem with wishing you both a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year all together with one phrase, Happy Holidays, because that's, that's already too well. After New Year's Day, we're going to have the Sunday of Christmas. At least that's what I call it. Usually we call it Epiphany Sunday, because usually we don't get two in a given year. We won't this year. We'll only have one Sunday within the 12 days of Christmas. And by the way, all the 12 days of Christmas, if you're celebrating all of those our individual holidays, but even if you're not, I think you should pay attention to Christmas Sunday, the first Sunday after Christmas Day, which is within the Christmas season. That's an important day to go back to church and to celebrate the birth of Christ again while it is still Christmas, when the consumeristic stuff has passed and we're ready to just think about the fact that Christ is born and we can sing some more Christmas carols together again. Um, and often, uh, think about the birth or, or the arrival of the wise men, the gifts that they give. Well, Epiphany Sunday happens when it does because the last day of the 12 days of Christmas is the Feast of Epiphany. It rarely falls on a Sunday. And so that's a separate day from Epiphany Sunday, or as I like to call it, the Sunday of Christmas. Um, and the Feast of Epiphany is explicitly when we remember the wise men and we, when we remember the insight the wisdom that is imparted to all of us as a part of this Christmas celebration. So I counted eight, ten if you count the Feast of St. Nicholas and the uh, Christian New Year at the beginning of December. That is a lot of holidays to be celebrating, and I want them all to be happy for you. And so, once again, I want to wish you a happy holidays from Pastor Ryan. Bye.